Today's video is sponsored by Mythic Legions Tactics War of the Aetherblade, a brand new tactical strategy game based on the popular Mythic Legions toy line. Stay tuned to the end of this video for more details and click on the link in the video description to visit the Kickstarter campaign. What is going on my friends? I am Pixel Dan and today well, it's a very different kind of toy hunt. It's not really much of a hunt. It's more of like a collection dig, which should be really interesting. But where am I right now? Look at all this, look at all this crazy stuff behind me here. Well, that's because I am at the home of my buddy, Jason Duvall. What is up, What's dude? up, dude? Man, thank you for having me in your home. This is gonna be well, really, really interesting because you made a big decision recently I about did. your collecting. I did, and I told that I told you and Dave Draper that you guys had first picks, first dibs. Yeah, so why don't you explain to them what you're doing? What's going uh, on here? So after being in the collecting world for, I don't know, we've known each other 22 years, 23 years. Something like that. Um, I've been collecting since I was 16. Right. Um, I have too much stuff. And it's time for it all to go. Man. So you're save just... For, save for a small collection of items that mean a lot to me, but the collection as a whole just... Is so, so he is packing up. He is getting out of the game. That is a big decision. It's crazy. I want to talk to you about that a little yes. bit. But one of the things we're also going to do today, obviously, is I want to show off just this amazing collection before it's all packed what's, up, before what's left, it's gone. What's left yeah. on the shelves? I was going to say he's... we've started to sort some of it. So it is a mess. It is. Trust me. I'm sure there's going to be comments going. It's a mess down there. Yeah, I know. Trust me. It's but there's a literal still mess. there's still so much to look at. Yes. So I want to show that off, and uh, I'm, I guess I'm going to do some shopping myself while I'm here because I want to welcome wanna... to store to yeah. <laughs> Go to your store, <laughs> but um... I accept PayPal and cash. <laughs> okay, great. I brought think I brought some cash. We'll oh, see. Right. I'm gonna take all that cash. <laughs> Okay, so before we really dig into this, yes. I just want to like dig into my mindset, your thought process on oh, yes. this a little I, bit. So I want to stop you before you start getting the question. So, yeah. of course, when I decided to do this, something I've been thinking about for since we went to King County in April. Yeah. So it's something that's been kind of brewing since April because I really didn't buy a whole lot in April. Well, I mean, you bought all those dolls. I did. Stuff, I did. I bought like, which I was really thinking and... about that when I was coming over here. I was like, he just bought that yeah. stack. Yeah, of, yeah. of stuff the, while we were at Kane County. The, the, one of the things that's staying is all the talking toys. Okay, so, yeah. Because yeah. I repaired so many of them myself. Sure. They're going to stay because that's a huge, I love them, they're great. Um, but so it's been kind of cloud Coming down here, before I started to pack all this stuff up, gave me so much anxiety because mm. I just have so much shit. Mm -hmm. And you can beep that out or leave it. <laughs> But I literally have so much shit that it's not funny. Right. And you know that. You know how long I've been collecting. You know the, the things I collect aren't just toys, aren't just action figures. It's kids' books. It's stuffed animals. It's random Disney things that we find. Like I it's mean, just it's grown so much. So much it, nostalgia, right? I, and it is. And it's been it's been so much fun. I have so many great memories and so many ideas. But coming down here gave me great anxiety, and I started to think about just getting rid of all of it yeah like i just it, let's you know i've had my fun i'll be 44 this year i'm not going to stop buying toys altogether there will still be stuff that i'm hunting for that i want to buy but for the most part it's just time like no, toy pr vintage toy prices are through the roof yeah that's that's true and if and I, the more i thought about it the more i was like if i was going to sell now would be the now time is probably the time that makes sense and the more I think about it, the more I thought about it, the more I was like, I don't have that pit in the bottom of your stomach that you're like, I'm, it, that, that pit of regret, like, am I making the wrong decision? Every time I think about and come down here and start packing stuff, I'm like, I this am is making, the right move. I am making like the this, right decision. This that's is, good. Now that's good. Because so many people were worried, 
you know, my wife was worried about my mental well-being. Dave, you know, my best friend, is worried about my mental well And I keep telling him, I'm like, I am fine, trust me. Well, I mean, and the first thing I said to you, too, when you were texting me that day, you were like, hey, I'm going to do this. I was like, hey, don't do anything you're going to regret. Right, like, right, right. Like, because I feel like we've all been in that place before where we're yes. like, oh, I'll just sell it, and then it's gone. And you're like, why did I do that? Yeah. So, you know, I, I, I wanted to make sure that you were really thinking these things out. It sounds yes. like you have. Yes. It sounds like you've really thought it through. And I, I think that this is something that as toy collectors, this is something that is always on our minds. We always think about it, especially the older that we get. Well, is this something that we want to do forever? Yeah. Do we really need to hold on to all this stuff? And if the answer is yes, that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. Whatever makes you happy. But I think... For some of us, we, we have really kind of right. thought about, like, maybe I don't need to hang on to this forever. Yeah. Maybe I don't need to collect everything. everything. Thinking about it, like, if something were to happen to me today and Carrie had to deal with all this, holy crap. No, that's a really good thought, and honestly, like, I know that's not fun to think about or talk about. No, 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 no. But I have had conversations like that with Christina as well. It's like, you know, I don't want to, like, burden you with all my junk in yes. the house yeah. when I'm gone. And, you know, within the last couple of years, I've made a lot of similar decisions where I've really tried to hone in on the things that I'm focusing on. Because for a while there, it's just like, man, you just buy everything, right? Yeah. And it's fun, and it's, it's fun, exciting. And, it's great. and you're like, man, I remember this when I was a kid, and I always wanted this, so I'm going to get it. But in the last couple of years, <laughs> I'm like... like where are you going to put it? Where do I put it? There's so much stuff. <laughs> I think I just want to poke focus on the things that really make me happy, yeah. like He-Man and Ninja Turtles, yeah, yeah. and then a couple things here and there, and that's what I've started doing. Yes. I just think, I think that's the important part of this whole conversation is like, you know, you really should just do what makes you happy, of course, and if buying everything makes you happy, that's awesome. Yes. But... I th this is more for the people that I think are having similar thoughts like this. Like, this is normal, and this yeah. is part of it. Yeah. And, you know, you got to do what's going to make you the happiest and what's going to work the best for you, even if that means getting rid of some things yeah. every now and then. At the end of the day, for me, it's stuff. Like, it's, it, there, it's amazing memories. It's amazing nostalgia. I have loved this hobby. I still love this hobby. Um, I still love the stuff that I love, but, and, and it's, I'm still me, like, even without the collection, I'm still me, but at the end of the day, it's just stuff on a shelf that is literally collecting dust, and the memories and the experiences, now as I get older, are more important to me, as you know, with two sons, mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and being the full-time father and family man you are, you know the same thing, that the experience is way better than this stuff. All about the journey, right? Yes, exactly. All about the journey. Plus, I want to do other things down here, which I'm not gonna. I, I'm not gonna say <laughs> on camera what I'm going to do. You're just Danny, ready for something different. Danny down here, knows right? what I'm going to yeah. do, but I, I'm ready to do something that I never thought was attainable. And now, with the amount of stuff and collection I have, it is completely attainable. So that is where you know. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. So, oh, yeah. that's great. Yeah. All right. Well, I want to tour you, this room. You should tour and shop. I want to look around at stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, I know I was just like, hey, I don't want to collect anything uh, outside yeah. of him. But yeah. you know what? I'm probably going to buy some things from you today. Yeah. So yeah. that's just, that's the way it goes. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so I want to start just by kind of walking through the, this is like a little entryway into Jason's basement. And like he was talking about, he is a big collector of everything. So look at all these plush he's got over here. Lots of Disney plush. Him and his wife are big Disney fans. Um, you know, he's got all kinds of retro figures in here. Look at, he's got Wuzzles and Care Bears, um, Glow Worms. Holy cow. Oh man, look at all the vintage, like the Pac-Man wind-ups and Mario and Kool-Aid Man. Uh, there's a Lion-O back there. There's some seriously, seriously fun stuff. And you can also see all of these books. He's just got, all of these books are basically like, um, you know, tied to various properties. He's got lots of the old storybooks, but also just like this extensive book collection here. Um, and then we start really getting into the fun stuff. And one of the things uh, that I've always admired is the way that he really focused on completing a lot of these obscure collections. So here you can see he's got all of these Coleco Rambo figures, which is absolutely amazing. Great little display. And then up on top, Look at this. Look at this playset. Look, he's got like these role play guns, which, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Um, and then look at this. All these vehicles he's got up here on top. He's got this giant playset. Look at that. 
I've always admired the Rambo collection. Every time I've been over here, it's one of those things I've always stared at. Uh, I don't think it's something that I would probably bring to my personal collection, because I don't know where I would put something like this, uh, but this is just so incredibly cool. All right, so look at all the Kenner Terminator figures. I love the Kenner lines, of course. Talked about these a lot. And then here's something, man, this is something people are always asking about, mask toys. And this is Jason's mask collection. Look at all of this. Now this is a really nice, kind of obscure toy line collection, Power Lords. So he's got all of these Power Lords figures. He's got the vehicle, the ride-on, and the Vulcan Rock playset. This is crazy. I gotta ask you, uh, when did you even get this? Like, how did you acquire this? Vulcan I've... Rock. So yeah. there was a, a guy that I know that's a fan of this, uh, of of our stuff, and he and I were working back and forth on a deal. He got this in, and I had sent him a message about it, and he's like, "I don't know what I'm gonna do with it." I was like, "Well, I really want to, you know, I really want to buy this from you." Um, I ended up trading him the entire Turtle collection that I used to have. For Vulcan for Rock. For Vulcan Rock? Yeah. Wow. That is cool. And when I bought Vulcan Rock, it had everything but there's a weapons rack and the main front door that it didn't have. Um, and the ladders and there's a, um, a two-part um, piece that goes that when you separate the halves, you can put them across the halves and it looks like two play sets in one. That's cool. But I ended up acquiring all of that stuff. Um, I have two of the same ladders, so I'm still missing a ladder, but technically... I have both ladders, so yeah. Technically, you have two. <laughs> that's great. I have two. But yeah, that's uh, that's how I acquired that. All right, so we're gonna come across over here. Like here's here's his uh, talking dolls that we were just talking about that he acquired just recently. There, but there's a, there's another cricket doll inside that box. Too. Another cricket one. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. right. I remember yeah. that. I love all these old like Muppets. And that Ralph, that Ralph's, uh, Ralph is staying right there. Yep. That is the very first piece of merchandise ever made for the Muppets in 1962. Wow, uh, that's Ideal amazing. Made those. They made that, and they made a Kermit. And you can tell these old Ralphs, um, because no, no other Ralph has ever had this, but these Ralphs have tails. Oh, wow. Yep. So, and he's, he's, uh, he's a puppet? He is a puppet. I love it. And you can see he's got a tear in his mouth. But these are extremely, extremely rare. Um, he's so cool. Yeah, he's he's spectacular. So you just brought up a good point, Jason. Yes. Things that you're keeping. Yes. You are keeping some of your things. Yes. And yes. Uh, I want to show this because you've got the amazing uh, Muppets collection from Palisades. And this was such an amazing line at the time. I never really collected a lot of this, but you were so hardcore into buying this line, I remember. I, I and, was until they got extremely impossible to find. Right. Um, sadly, it's not a line for completists. Like, you'll never be able to complete this line unless you have a crap ton of money. Because Palisades made so many figures that were one-offs or, uh, for example, there's a two-pack, a wedding two-pack of Piggy and Kermit that was only made for guests of the wedding for one of the Palisades designers. Oh my goodness. And they go for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And then, of course, the backstage playset, which was the one of the last things they released, is like... I don't know, one of those unattainable pieces that I'm like, I'm not spending that kind of money for. Right, right. right. But, I mean, it's a, still an amazing collection you have here. Oh, I know yeah. that this has been prominently displayed for years, and it's one that you've decided that you're not parting with. Yes, that that is staying. They, they, are, they are staying here. They're going to stay on top of that display case because uh, they used to live on the shelves above the stairs, and then I moved them down here, so... It's awesome. Yeah, it's it's a great line, man. Palisades did an amazing job, and then they just put themselves out of business. <laughs> that cannon isn't the one that came with Gonzo. Gonzo's cannon is down there, but that was one I found in a, uh, a Goodwill, and I was like, well, holy crap, I'm buying that and putting Gonzo in it. Yeah, that's amazing, because it was way smaller, right? Yes, and is. I remember it had the little push-down thing. That, that big one has the push-down thing, too, so oh. technically you could fire him out of that big cannon as well. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks so much cooler with little Gonzo in it, because that seems like something Gonzo would do. Definitely. All right, RoboCop. This is another super fun line. I that love is complete. That is the entire line. The entire line. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And look, you've even got like the chrome looks really nice on this. Uh -huh. I know the chrome flakes off on this cycle. Well, if you remember, there was a story, and you were with me with the first one of those I ever bought. I pulled out of the box, and all the chrome was like flaked off. In that's the back. right. That's right. Yeah. So cool. Night Fighter. 
your police academy line is yeah. another one I've always yeah. loved to look at all on display. You've got the headquarters play sets, which is so cool. And uh, I actually featured a lot of these in a video once. I did an episode of Toy Explosion on the toys that came from R-rated movies, yeah, and you yeah. let me borrow a lot of these guys to shoot yeah, for that for that video. So. And that is uh, that is the complete action figure line. Um, there were some like kid size, like the handcuffs, what were big hands. Right, right. Like but a lot of the is, role play stuff. Yeah, that yeah. is the complete figure line of that. That's amazing. Oh gosh, the double dragon line. And is that the fox Peter Pan and the Pirates back there? That is the complete fox is Peter Pan and the Pirates. Holy line. cow, that's that is incredible. Not a line you see complete very often. No. All of those were bought on on beat up cards and I opened every one of them. Wow, that's incredible, yeah. dude. Those were one of those lines that got clearanced out at KB, and then everyone was looking for them, and you just couldn't find them, like, because you never find the weapons, the accessories, like. So cool. And then you got Congo. <laughs> I do. I think I'm missing a figure from Congo. But... Oh, I love it. I love these. I love these. I actually have a bunch of these guys, too, just because I love the creature figures. Yeah, I think they're, they're so fun. Yeah. yeah. Scary monkeys. And then, of course, we gotta have ghostbusters toys so the the sam hayne that's from the um that's extreme. extreme ghostbusters yep. right yep, that's yeah that's extreme ghostbusters and then there's the awesome firehouse playset which i have but love that playset lots of the ghosts and stuff down here too collector case yep rad and the cereal with the hologram yeah. i love it wild stallions those are so fun it was a great Kenner line. Death, I mean, death is the best. <laughs> yes, I agree. Can't you can't not love a skull face toy? Yeah, that's just the way. And it he's is. got a mohawk under his hood. Oh, that's the best. This is even better. Mantech. So is this a Mantech playset? It is the Mantech playset. I Rim didn't even know that they had a playset yeah, for Rimco, this line. Uh, reused that playset for their uh, their GI Joe knockoff line. I can't not remember for the life of me right now. Really? Called, yes. Uh, that is the Mantech playset. It is not uh, not a hundred percent complete because I'm missing one of the big guns and. All the little guns around it aren't actually the guns that came with the playset because they were a certain color. I want to say they were this gray color that came with the playset, but I would buy p boxes and boxes of like Mantic parts over the years to complete those. <laughs> that is so, so cool, though. Man, that is awesome. A ridiculous Remco line. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a couple of these figures because they're they're almost in that like you know five point five style yep. like He Man and everything. But their whole gimmick was like that they yeah. you could plug the weapons and switch the parts and yep. stuff they're on them. All and everything. interchangeable. Yep, very interchangeable, very very fun. This is the police car from the Super Mario Brothers movie toy line, right? That's right. I uh, I have one of these still sealed in box because we got these at the same time. Those came from our buddy dealer Dan. He was at a Ertl um, um, uh, convention. And a lady there and her husband had been Ertl dealers for decades. That's crazy. She had, bought, she had cases of those. And he sent me a picture and he's like, do you know what these are? And I was like, buy all of those. Buy every goddamn one of them. <laughs> I was like, I can sell them all for you in an hour. And I did. I think I sold all of them within an hour. And that was my payment was the one that I've got there. That's so cool, man. Yeah. Except mine came broken out of the box. Like, oh, no. Yeah, that's actually, I mean, they're, they, the plastic on this is really cheap, but it was broken like that out of the box. But it still displays fine. And it still works. Ring Raiders. Ring Raiders. God I love it. Ring Raiders. They're so too, fun. Too bad that they don't fit our fingers anymore. Yeah, exactly. Period. And there's the Phantom. Yeah, Defenders and Flash of the Earth. Gordon. Defenders of the Earth. That's right. Yeah. I hope, uh, I know NECA's doing these right now. And I know I've seen everybody asking for this guy. Loth uh, oh, yeah. Wouldn't yeah. he be great be as great. a NECA figure? Yeah. I can't imagine them not doing that one. Because they're doing Lothar. They're going to do the whole thing, I would imagine. They did... Uh, uh, they're doing Mandrake, so I would assume they would do because that was the only figures in that line. Right. Like there were only six figures, and that was it. There were six figures and six vehicles. I was to say this dragon is yeah. incredible. Yeah, I have five of the six vehicles. So cool! Look at this thing. It's got a skull on it. Yes, it does. <laughs> the Phantom's copter. Oh man! And then it was a regular copter, and then down here is Gripjaw. Gripjaw, which was uh, a reused mold from their Infaceables line. They just reuse the vehicle from Invasables for Defenders of the Earth, which is why if you ever try to put the figures in it, they don't really fit. They don't that fit? Well. Oh, that's so because funny. Invasables were way bigger than the Defenders right, of the Earth figures. Right, right. Oh, that's incredible. Okay, there is so much incredible stuff over here. So first of all, the Hasbro Cops line. How great is that? 
That's another fantastic line that I don't really run into a lot anymore. And I remember Jason always collecting these um, above this. We got the shadow figures. Only the shadow knows. Oh, yeah. All the vehicles down here for the cops line, too. Gosh, that is so cool. Look at this. Incredible. So he does have a very small collection of turtles up here. A lot of the mutating figures. It looks like back here. I see Bebop and Shredder and Rocksteady and April and Splinter and uh, Razar back there. Uh, we got some Mutagen from the 2012 series is up here. Hey, yeah. Oh, Space Jam, baby. <laughs> and then he does have the Bucky O'Hare line up here. He says it's totally complete, which is a line, of course, that I absolutely love. And uh, I do want to show you the Toxic Crusaders as well. Great collection of Toxic Crusaders up here. Uh, this is one, man, this vehicle is one that I've actually wanted to pick up for a while. So I don't know if he wants to get rid of this all as a set, but that, that might be something that I'm interested in. I'll have to talk to him. It's got a setup of visionaries down here. Great little setup of figures. Look, he's got, I think these all look like they're complete. They've all got their flag things with their amazing holograms on there. He does have some vehicles over here as well. Look at that. So incredible. <laughs> I uh, I was with him when we bought this. There's that Beetlejuice mask. Oh, I love the Rock Lords. I think I have all of these, though, at this point. He's also got a vehicle over here, although I don't know if I have this vehicle. He's got one of the Gnarlies back here. Such a great line. He's got one of the Gem Lords, though I do have this one. Oh, he's, got, he's got a couple of the... Uh, Joe's up here. We got the fridge. We got the uh, the super trooper. Look at that beautiful vac metal. Darius over here. Mad balls. Cadillacs and dinosaurs. <laughs> and mask. Okay, so first of all, you guys remember Nerfles? That's what these little guys are in the front. Super fun. But uh, right here, so this line right here was Mattel's King Arthur toy line. Uh, this is a very cool toy line for fans like myself of like Masters of the Universe because these came out in like the early 90s, but they were totally done in that same five and a half inch kind of squat build body. So it's very similar to the Masters of the Universe line as far as the overall scale and the design goes. Uh, and they were even going to reuse the slime pit for this line. It was pictured on the back of the packaging. It never actually came out in this line. I have a couple of these carded. I don't have them loose. So I think I might grab these. I think I might end up buying these from him. Hook, hook, where's the hook? Hook, hook, where's the hook? Hey, there's my jam. He's got a Masters of the Universe collection up here. Um, so like I obviously this is like my main collection so I do basically have everything up here. There's not a lot that I need but uh, he's got a really nice Fright Zone back here. And uh, let me see if you can, the puppet is in there and he says the puppet's in really good shape and the tree is in really nice shape. So I have the Fright Zone playset, but my tree has broken over the years from various moves. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab this Fright Zone from him just to upgrade mine at home. Otherwise, like, I mean, he's got a great selection here. He's got this, this Claudine is actually really nice right here. Um, and I noticed too that he's got a brown face Grizzlor up there, which is a great variant of Grizzlor. I love the way he's got the Wind Raider flying up here. Um, so yeah, there's some really cool stuff. There's definitely a, uh, there's like a Viewmaster reel back there, Masters of the Universe Viewmaster reel. I might grab that from him too. I love Masters of the Universe merchandise. Look at this Chipmunks display. Man, that's cool. Oh, Swamp Thing. Oh, I think this is everything, too. So I've got most of these play sets still at home. It's one of those things, like, I've had a lot of these figures for so long, and they've just been in storage for so long. I've never even actually had them out for display, but it's such a fun toy line. This guy right here is my favorite. Bio Glow. He's got the Inhumanoids. Check these out. Oh, check these out. Dang, he's got everything in here. So I've got all three of the giant ones there. 
Metlar and Decompose and Tendril. Super good line. WWE stuff or WWF, sorry. <laughs> Old Hasbros. He's got a bunch of the Hasbros. He's got the ring. He's got a couple of LJNs down here as well. And the big uh, Hulk Hogan. He's got Robo Force down here. And the big old vehicle for it, which is pretty sweet. Come in and pull yourself up a chair. I love the Pee Wee's Playhouse toys. What a great line. So cool. All right, so Jason has always been a huge Transformers fan. I know these are GoBots, you know, so he's got like GoBots over here, and then he's got a bunch of Transformers over here. And he has already started packing a lot of this, but I definitely still wanted to show it, because this was always like his one of his absolute favorites to collect for. Um, you know, I personally have never been a big Transformers collector. I don't really own many Transformers. So most of what I used to know about Transformers would be from Jason collecting this stuff. And you can see he's already taken a lot of it down, and he's got all these boxes here as well. Everything that he's packing up to get out of here. So he totally collected the Waterworld toy line. <laughs> it's amazing, right? Like, he, he always focused on a lot of these, like, obscure, just kind of random toy lines like this. But it, it always looks so cool when you see it all together like this. Like, look at this giant sail raft thing. That's, that's crazy. So I know this is one of his absolute prized pieces. Um, this is the Filmation Ghostbusters line. Look at that playset. It is incredible. And then of course he's got all the figures. He's got the buggy there. Look at this, man. He's got every playset, every figure for this. Uh, totally completed this line. It is gorgeous seeing this all together because i know this is a pretty obscure very hard to collect line this is a place that i had never ever ever seen before until he got it look at how huge it is so incredibly cool and brave star this is another one i remember jason really being into he has every piece for this line as well it's got that Fort Carrion playset back here. I mean, it's such a huge playset. The figures are obviously very cool. Brave Star and Tex Hex up there. What a great display. This is so, so very cool. So he pulled these out for me already, um, and I'm definitely buying these from him. These are glow-in-the-dark frame tray masters of the universe puzzles um and i love like i said i love obviously anything masters of the universe I, this is one of the only franchises i try to collect like random merchandise from i didn't have these puzzles so there's one of them and this is the other one look at that how cool are these so these are these are definitely coming home with me sometimes he has things in his collection that i haven't thought about since i was a little kid this is Potato Head Kids. I don't know if anybody my age remembers these, but I definitely had some of these when I was younger. Um, it's kind of cool seeing these all in person like this, plus like play sets and stuff. I had no idea there were so much of these. So he's got a bunch of the uh, new adventures of He-Man figures over here, which again, I've got basically all of these. Um, but what I also love is right over here next to it, he's got displayed the Demolition Man figures from Mattel, which if you guys didn't realize, they reused a lot of the New Adventures bodies for these figures. Like, Sylvester Stallone is straight up just He-Man's body with a new head. And they just repainted it. It's the same figure as this right there. Um, so I've got a handful of these, but I don't have a bunch of these. So this is a good random thing that I might be grabbing out of his collection. Uh, because it ties so closely with these that these definitely will fit, fit in with my collection at home. Over next to those, he's got some Air Raiders figures, which is pretty cool to see. He's even got a play set up here on top. Look at that. So cool. All right, so I've made decisions, and now I've got Jason up there digging out that Fright Zone for me. I almost fell. Did you see that? Yeah. Don't, don't fall, Jason. I'm also going to reach back here. Get it. Get and it. without knocking anything over, I'm going to grab the... Oh, no, everything just fell out of it. <laughs> I didn't know it was open. So here's this uh, Masters of the Universe View Master Reels, which is pretty great. It's got three, here they are, three little reels. I don't know if we can really see. Oh yeah, you can kind of see through them on there. Sweet. 
I don't even think I have an old Viewmaster at home. I'm gonna have to find one now. You got that Fright Zone? You did it! I found all the reels to this this Viewmaster set. Check this thing out. Here, look at that puppet. Oh, hey. You seen a nicer puppet? Oh, I like it. What did you, what'd you I put? Did. I stuffed a, uh, stuffed, uh, I stuffed a paper towel. paper roll in there. Got it. It was the only way to keep its shape so it wouldn't... Uh, yeah, that's in really good shape. I gotta be very careful with this though. These things like dry out and they rot real bad and they crack and peel. That's what happened to mine at home. Mine's got just like big old cracks going and down it's the not, side. And it wasn't just like, there's also like toilet paper in there. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but to keep yeah. his mouth so it... Yeah, that looks because nice. Because if it sits, if we hand that roll back and put it back in there, I've learned that if this stuff sits like all droopy, that's when it dries out and crusts up. Oh. But if you keep its shape, you keep it shape the rubber will stay supple that looks nice man look at that beautiful puppet for the fray zone yeah boy okay i'm definitely gonna go ahead and get these king arthur figures yeah you are because these are amazing so i'm gonna look at this guy ah, ah. like i think arthur was on card um, so a lot of these figures I just pull right off of cards. Excellent. Yeah, they're super clean. They yeah. look great. Now I just got to get the horse. Yeah, except the... He's expensive. Yeah, yeah the horse is... <laughs> there's, a, there's a little... There's uh, the other, his other arrow. A little arrow. Yeah, there we go. King Arthur toys. And then, of course, they famously reused this. Well, they didn't reuse this mold, but they reused the same idea from New Adventures. Oh, uh, yep. Staghorn. Yep, there it is. Yeah. That's Look what, at that. That's that oh, that's actually... amazing. All right, and another silly kind uh, of Masters of the Universe line that's not oh, Masters oh, of the oh, Universe. Oh, John Oh, no. Yep, I'm buying these Demolition Man uh, figures. So. I'm surprised you don't have any of these. So I do have some. I just don't have all of them. I've had... Uh, John Spartan for years. Yes. And um, I don't have, actually, I don't have this one. So this one is also straight up a New Adventures body. Yes. And then I do have this guy right here who's totally just using um, Flip Shot's body. Yep. Look at that. He's like the cryotech <laughs> guy or whatever it is. He's got like, oh no, I'm just oh, knocking no. things down. Uh, He's got just the dumbest action feature where he's got like this gripping claw thing in front that's supposed to grapple onto guys, and then this thing comes down to freeze them. I feel like... But uh, he's totally just... He's just flip shot, man. It's like so with crazy. The, with the more toys you knock off, the larger your bill gets. Oh, no! No, I'm so sorry, Uncle Fester. Please don't be broken. Oh, no, he's he was broken a long time ago. See that? Oh, that's yikes. the other problem with Mattel... That's why he doesn't stand. That's why he was standing behind. Because I never oh, did find the rest of his foot. His foot, yeah. yeah. So here's another one that reuses New Adventures parts. Um, he reuses. So that's supposed to be Dennis Leary's character from the film, <laughs> which is the most ridiculous thing ever. It's so amazing. Jason just pulled down this uh, this case that he didn't know if there was anything in it, and he had a couple of little weapons in here. There's actually like a random Bashasaurus head and some uh, horde crossbows and like cyclone shield and real real blasts uh, weapons. But like most importantly, he's got a mosquito gun in here. And uh, gosh dang, if these haven't become extremely hard to find and you don't even have a mosquito in your collection, yeah, right? I don't. I never found so a mosquito. He's got the gun, gun and not the figure. And well, you guys know me. I have more than one mosquito at home. Danny has all the mosquitoes. But only one of them has a gun, so I'm going to buy this from Jason so I can complete another of my favorite character at home. Oh, TikTok. You know what's funny about that figure? What's that? Is that he and Thudbud, who I think we both bought Thudbud at the same toy man, but the same dealer we bought Thudbud from had a bunch of these TikToks at another toy man. And I really? know Draper bought one and I bought one. You weren't with us at that show. Yeah. Like, he had like TikTok for like five bucks. And now that figure's stupid pricey. So it's super weird because like I uh, Hook's one of those weird toy lines that like I know it's not a great line, but I love it. It's nostalgic. I love that movie a lot. So it's kind of one of those things I've always enjoyed like picking up pieces yes. here and there. So it was also one of the first like early videos that I did was on yeah. Hook Toys. And at that time, figures like Thudbutt and TikTok 
were like really obscure. Yeah. Like nobody had these. I think we might have even were, said in the video that we weren't sure if they were released in the US because they were so rare. They were Canadian releases and UK releases. So then they just showed up in the like it's people found new old stock. Yeah. And they showed up yep. all over and all of a sudden you were finding these at Kane Counties and yep. Toy Man That's shows. Why I have and, TikTok. That's yeah. why Thugbutt's up there. That's why uh, the armored hook is up here. That's why I learned to fly Peter's up there. Man, that's amazing. The only one I never found was Food Fight Peter. Oh, Food Fight Peter. I know. He was one of the ones I always wanted. Yep. With all just the colors on yep. it. Yeah. Yep. Never found him. <sighs> See, these are these are the definition of awful, but awesome toys. Just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a great line, It's man. just super nostalgic for me. Look at this vac metal on this I hook. know. It's beautiful. Oh, my God. It's so great. <laughs> so awesome. And there's Thudbutt. Oh, I love him. It's okay, just seriously, look at the details on this hook. Like this vac metal armor that he's wearing. I, look at like, so it looks like his ship. Do you realize that? Like it looks yeah, like the yeah. front and then this looks kind of like that back part of a ship. Like the eyes where the windows up here and everything. Yeah, it's very much designed specifically to look like that. That is amazing. Yeah. I like, like love people, it. People crap on that Mattel line all the time, but it's such a, uh, it was such a well thought out, well designed line when you really take a look at it and go, well, crap, they really thought out a lot of the details on this. I love this, man. This is so awesome. All right, I've got some boxes here of some things I'm gonna save. I'm gonna rescue these toys from, you're, from you're Duvall's gonna, collection. Gonna rescue these toys. I'm gonna bring them home and keep them <laughs> nice and safe. You're gonna take them home to Steena and Steena's gonna be like, really? Yeah, I know, more, more He-Mans! Why are you bringing more stuff into the house? Yeah, no, so I got the Fright Zone, I got those, uh, I got those Demolition Man figures King in there, Arthur. I got the King Arthur figures, I did grab those two Hook figures. Yep. I'm bringing uh, Dizzy Dizzy Dinosaur home for my kids. Some He-Man puzzles. And some He-Man puzzles and some He-Man books. Yeah. I think that's a pretty good haul, and it's very on brand for me, right? Very, very much my kind oh, of stuff. Very much my kind of stuff. Absolutely. So, so there's my little uh, tour that's of right. your collection that's before right. it's all gone, man. Now here's here's a question. Okay. That I'm going to put this live while we're filming this, so Danny can either edit it out, which he might or not. Mm. Will when the sale happens, will you be there with camera in hand? to document what the heck happens. I guess maybe, where's this, I mean, like, is it'll it gonna be, be somewhere local yeah, for me to come town, to? It'll, it'll be uh, our friend David Gall, his uh, his auction company is so, gonna yeah. run this sale. And I don't know if we brought that up before, but Jason's gonna auction all this stuff it's up. It's all going it's, to auction. It's going to an auction house, the only I think it's a great way to try to get rid of it all. Yeah. It, like, it's, it's a little bit easier for you to let them kind of do the selling. Yes. And I didn't um, want to piecemeal it. I don't want to try to piecemeal this collection. The only people that got piecemealed is Danny and Dave Draper, and that's oh, it. Because special. you, my two, you know, my two, <laughs> my best friend and one of my closest oldest friends got first picks, Sweet. and that's that's it. Nobody else is getting anything out of this collection. It's all going to go to auction. Yeah, man. I think I think definitely keep us all posted on the dates oh, of yeah. this thing. Oh, yeah. And I think that would be really cool to do to yeah. come and document yeah. and see how it it's, goes. It'll be an interesting. Uh, I mean, especially with the stuff that's in this collection, while it's not like an, an awesome like vintage Star Wars collection or a ton of vintage Joes, uh, the stuff, the rare stuff that is in my collection alone will probably bring a lot of people to be like, oh my God. Sweet. So Sweet. it's going to be fun. I'm so up, how I'm, you feeling though? How you feeling? I know we talked about this like at the beginning oh, of this video, oh but like, you're, you're feeling good about this know, whole thing? Like you filmed everything and I don't know if you want to show like I worked while you were gone yeah. and like these shelves are empty. Yeah. Like, he's already been empty in yeah. shelves like between me shooting stuff. Yeah. So uh, I feel good. Like I was emptying the Transformers shelf. I emptied all the GoBots off. Um, I emptied all the Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future stuff off. Like, and honestly, I still feel good. I don't feel anything but think, relief. No, I think this is really, honestly, this is uh, a really interesting video to make. I know because, like, we're, you know, I do toy hunting videos all the time where I'm trying to add things to my collection. I mean, I'm adding things to my collection today. <laughs> like, this channel has always been about, like, collecting toys and the joy of it. But I think this is a natural part of the entire collecting, like, like I don't know what I'm where I'm trying to say, but I think this is part of it, right? right? Like eventually you probably will get to a point where you want to sell things, and maybe not everything, but you do want to kind of focus your collection or yeah. bring things down. And so I think it's really interesting, just kind of documenting this side of toy collecting. Yeah. So I'm and glad we did this. And it's scary for a lot of people because a lot of people aren't to that stage in their lives. A lot of people will never be. But right uh, for me, it just felt like it was the right thing to do at the right time to do it, and. Um, you know, there's other things that I want to do with the space down here and 
I've had a lot of fun and I'm not going to stop buying toys. Well, and you're doing what makes you happy, yeah, right? Absolutely. Like this is, you decided that this is what will make you the happiest. Absolutely. And I think that's the important point we should leave on because this video is not being made to try to like shame anybody no. or tell you guys that you should be thinking about selling your toys. That is not the way I feel at all. I just think it's important to remember what makes you happy. That's right. And if collecting toys and getting the biggest toy collection is what makes you happy, then do it. But if <laughs> <Dave> you, Draper. <laughs> but if you feel like maybe it's too much and it's time to sell things, that's okay. Yeah. Do what makes yeah. you happy that's and right. that's the important part of collecting. That's right. We've always I've always said you do you. You and do that's, you. That's all you got to do, man. Jason, thank you, man. Brother. I really appreciate this. This has been awesome. Absolutely. We've been doing videos on this platform for like 13 years yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. So it's real cool yeah. to kind of be here at the like end of your the, journey. The, the end of this journey. The end it's of not this the, journey. Not the, not dying. No, Jason's not leaving. <laughs> oh, Jason's okay. He's fine. It's I'm just... a little overweight, but I'm not dying. No. <laughs> so it's just, it's the end of this journey. It's right. the beginning of, of something different. You know, it's, I love it. It's, it's more, like I said, at the start of the, all of this, when we filmed the other day, it's, it's all about, it's more to me, it's about experiences now yes. than it is about stuff. I love like, that. Man. Carrie and I are getting ready to go to Disney world this fall. You know, we're, we're going to have this great experience and that's, that's what I want as I get older. I want experiences. I don't necessarily need stuff. So. I like that. I like that a lot. I like yeah. that a lot. Turn in the page, yeah. moving on to the next chapter. Yeah. finding the next thing that keeps I've you I've had happy. my fun with all of it. It's been awesome. It's time for somebody else to have fun with it. Awesome. Jason, thanks, buddy. Danny, thank you, sir. And thank you guys for watching, as always. Don't worry. We're going to do more toy hunting oh, still. God. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll pop up. Trust me. <laughs> He'll still come around. I guarantee you're not, you haven't seen the last of Jason around here. So <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> all right. Until next time, guys. Bye, guys. Special thanks once again to the sponsor of this video, Mythic Legions Tactics, War of the Aether Blade. The popular toy line Mythic Legions from Four Horsemen Studios has launched a Kickstarter campaign for a tactical strategy game. Mythic Legions Tactics War of the Aetherblade brings the popular fantasy toy line onto the screen for the very first time in this action-packed turn-based strategy and tactics game. This high fantasy adventure comes to life as players can choose different factions, customize their characters, and build campaigns with this innovative new title. Discover the world of mythos, factions, power struggles, and alliances with humans, elves, orcs, skeletons, demons, trolls, and more all await in this rich fantasy realm. Customization is king just like the toy line. Players will have the ability to customize their characters at a very high level and add new skins, accessories, and powers as they play. Combat matters. Dig deep into strategies that allow characters to fight by targeting limbs and making special attacks. Turn-based strategy and tactics players will embrace the familiar joy of a classic genre. We have the power of toys. Join the Kickstarter to get the video game and an exclusive set of beautifully sculpted, highly collectible action figures to enjoy. Mythic Legion's Tactics War of the Aetherblade will be playable on PC, Android, and iOS platforms at launch. Learn more about Mythic Legion's Tactics War of the Aetherblade by visiting the Kickstarter page where you'll find in-progress gameplay, footage, and images. A full list of stretch goals, exclusive figure offers, and descriptions of the backer packages. Just click the link in the video description. And thanks once again to Mythic Legion's Tactics War of the Aetherblade for sponsoring this video.